Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. How do you do? I hope everyone is doing fine. Welcome back to Physics KSSM Form 4 DLP classes with me, Cikgu Hasnita. So as you can read from top there, what are we going to do today? We will discuss some practices on essay questions on Paper 2, Section C. <music> Okay, students, so as you are now in Form 4, which means for your SPM 2022, you're going to sit for Paper 1, which consists of 40 objective questions for you to settle in 1 hour and 15 minutes. And then in Paper 2, there will be three sections where Section A is an eight structured questions. And then in section B, there will be two essay questions, each allocate 20 marks, where you can choose to answer any one of them, or if you have enough time, you can answer both. And in section C, there will be one essay questions only, mandatory, no choices at all, as in section B. Also allocate 20 marks, which means total of 100 marks for paper 2 for you to settle in two and a half hours and in addition to that you also have to sit for your amali yeah a hands-on laboratory experiment so i hope you are clear with your sbm format paper so for today's discussion we will be focused on paper 2 essay question on section c so if you're ready to go let's check the question together so normally in this essay question, you will be given a diagram as for your stimulus. So in diagram 6.1, it shows the effect on a skydiver that falls from a high position to the ground without opening the parachute. Look at the diver in diagram 6.1. Ooh, can you feel the pain there? Pity, right? While another diver in diagram 6.2 uh, with the same mass, fall from the same height when the parachute is open. So you can see the second diver can land it smoothly with his parachute open. So what is the question? Let's check on them. So normally this essay question, the first one will begin with definition of concept. As written there, what is meant by impulsive force? One mark. So do you remember when we are discussing content standard 2.7, impulsive force? So what does impulsive force refer to? Very good, yes. Impulsive force refers to rate of change of momentum in a collision or impact which occur in a short period of time. Yes, so there are three keywords there. The first keyword is rate of change of momentum. That one refers to force. And then second, collision or impact. And then the third keyword, in a short time, okay, short period of time. So this will secure you your first mark. Then what's come next? Okay, in question B, you can see that this is a short essay which allocate five marks. So if you read the question through, Based on diagram 6.1 and 6.2, you have to compare the acceleration to impulsive force and the time of impact. So there are three comparisons you have to make. Okay, so you can highlight them. The first one, you have to compare the acceleration on the diver inside diagram 6.1 and 6.2. Which one higher, which one lower, or are they the same? And then second, compare the impulsive force acting on both diver again which one higher which one lower or are they the same and the third comparison is in the time of impact so next you have to relate the impulsive force with the time of impact to make a deduction on the relationship between the acceleration and the impulsive force so this will be your fourth and fifth mark you have to write a relationship between time of impact and impulsive force and then second, in between acceleration and impulsive force. So I hope you are clear with the questions. So how to write the answer? Very easy. The first one, how to compare the acceleration. Yes, we can say that 
the acceleration in diagram 6.1 is greater than that in diagram 6.2. Students, the answer which I put in a bracket is an optional, which means with or without is also acceptable. You can still secure the first mark. Okay? Or you can write vice versa, the other way around. Acceleration in diagram 6.2 is lower. Yes. Okay, then how about the impulsive force? What do you think? Very good. Yes, we say that. Impulsive force in diagram 6.1 is greater than that in diagram 6.2. Or vice versa. You can also say impulsive force in diagram 6.2 is lower. Yeah. And then the time of impact, how to compare? Very good. So we say that time of impact in diagram 6.1 is shorter than that in diagram 6.2. Uh, some students, they may ask, teacher, can I use the mathematical symbol? Yeah, no problem. Okay, for example, you can write acceleration in diagram 6.1 is greater. Okay, you use the mathematical symbol for greater than 6.2. Or the other way around. Acceleration in diagram 6.2 is less than okay, uh, 6.1. Alright? And so do impulsive force. Impulsive force in diagram 6.1 is greater than that in diagram 6.2. And so do the time of impact. You can use the mathematical symbol. In diagram, uh, time of impact in diagram 6.1 is less, shorter, than in diagram 6.2. So your first three mark will be on this comparison of acceleration, impulsive force, and time of impact. Okay, now how to get the fourth mark? The relationship. So how we write? What is the relationship between impulsive force and time of impact? Yes, very good. So you can say the time of impact decreases or shorter, impulsive force increases or greater. And for the fifth mark, relate acceleration and impulsive force. So we write acceleration increases or greater, so impulsive force increases. Or greater. So see, now you have five marks in your hands. Easy, right? Some of you might asking, teacher, for the relationship, can I use the terms inversely proportional or directly proportional? So my answer is yes. For example, here, other than writing the time of impact decreases or shorter and impulsive force increases greater, you can also say the time of impact, yes, inversely proportional to the impulsive force. While for acceleration and impulsive force, other than writing acceleration increases, impulsive force increases, you can also say acceleration is directly proportional to the impulsive force. Okay? Okay, then what will be our next question? So in question C, this is again a short essay question which allocate 4 marks. And for question C, it is asking you to explain the concept, uh, explain the working principle of a mortar and pestle. So you understand that mortar and pestle are working based on impulsive force. So how you are going to explain that in order to get that 4 marks? So first, you can say about the motion of the motor and pestle. How do they move? And how do this movement affect the time of impact in between them? Yes, yeah, so we can say the fast-moving pestle stopped by the hard motor and this reduces the time of impact. So students, when the time of impact reduces, what happened to the impulsive force produced? Yes, very good. So your next point, you can say when time of impact shorter, so the impulsive force produced will be higher. You can even show the equation of impulsive force where F equal mv minus mu divide t. Okay, and then 
what happened finally the food can be crushed easily due to the large or high force produced and now we have come to the final questions d a long essay which allocates 10 marks and as you can see in diagram 6.4 here it shows a pile driver model used at the construction site you are required to modify the pile driver model so that will make the piling works at the construction site to be more efficient so any future architect or future engineer out there imagine you are assigned with this work so how you're going to modify the model of the pile driver in order to fulfill this works so the first question to answer is what is this pile used for yes students this pile is used to to make the foundation to make the base whenever you're going to build any houses buildings or bridges we must do the foundation first so this pile act as a pillar to hold the structure so it won't collapse easily yes so what is the question that follow here you have to state and explain the modification based on the following aspects so you are given five aspects from number one to number five the first one is mass of pile driver so what can you say about the mass must you use low mass or high mass why do you say so second maximum height from pile so how high we should place this pile driver from the pile down here and then third the hardness of the pile driver number four the power of the crane engine must you use high power or low power and why do you say that and last but not least is the shape of pile hmm but what happened when you are given less than five aspects so students remember in some questions there is possibilities you might given less than five aspects and please bear in mind whenever you are given less than five aspects which means you must you you must write more than one point for each aspects so which means uh, the minimum point for you to write here is five five point and five explanation you can write more but never write less than five points and explanation so how to deal with the question we will be right back after this all right students so how to deal with the answer for this long essay questions so you are highly recommended to write your answer in a form of table it consists of two columns modification and explanation or reason so remember our first aspect you must talk on the mass of the pile driver so we choose a pile driver with yes with a large mass mass of pile driver must be large and the reason is this is to produce large force or to produce large momentum so first mark when you talk about mass of the pile driver which is large and second mark when you say to produce large momentum or large force Okay, then what is your second aspect the height okay so what to say about the height of the pile driver so we can write height from pile must be high okay must be placed at a maximum height and what is the reason so to have a high gravitational potential energy or to create large impulse or large change of momentum so when you keep the pile driver in a high position so it will move down at a high velocity so that will create a high change in momentum large impulse okay then the third aspects the pile driver must be hot okay the hardness so what is the reason of having a hard pile driver so that to shorten the time of impact and by that to increase the impulsive force produced and how about the fourth aspect 
So we can say use a high power crane engine. So remember what power refers to. Power is, yes, rate of doing work. Work divide by time. So when we are having a high power engine, it means that, yes, we can do more piling work in in a certain period of time okay and the last aspect the shape so the shape of the file must be sharp at the end like a nail shape so what is the reason yes this will create high pressure so the pile will be embedded easily into the ground so this how to get 10 marks from a long essay question in D, an essay on modification. Students, what do you think of all the questions we discussed today? Do you think you can deal with an essay questions in paper 2, section C? Well, my advice is you can do more example of question, more exercises to familiar yourself with the format. Remember, practice makes perfect. So I guess that's all for today. Thank you for joining me from the beginning towards the end. And don't forget to join me again in my next video as we have more to explore in the next chapter in Chapter 3, Gravitation. With that, thank you for watching. Take a good care of yourself and bye-bye for now.